Picture this. A world where no one ever experiences a breakup. Sounds impossible, right? Breakups are as common as the grains of sand on a beach. They are a universal experience, a rite of passage that everyone, yes, everyone, goes through at some point in their lives. No matter who you are, where you're from, or how many candles were on your last birthday cake, heartbreak has most likely knocked on your door at least once. In the United States alone, it's estimated that 85% of all relationships end in a breakup. That's more than four out of every five relationships. Globally, the numbers are similar. Love, it seems, is a risky business. But why are breakups so common? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to that question. Relationships are complex, dynamic entities shaped by a myriad of factors, personal growth, compatibility, timing, and sometimes sheer luck. They're like puzzles, each piece needing to fit just right. And sometimes, despite our best efforts, the pieces just don't come together. But here's the silver lining. Breakups, as painful as they are, are also opportunities for growth and self-discovery. They force us to face our vulnerabilities, to question our choices, to learn about ourselves. They are, in a sense, the universe's way of nudging us towards becoming better versions of ourselves. There's a saying that goes, the only way out is through. And that's true for heartbreak too. We can't avoid it, can't sidestep it. We have to go through it, experience it, learn from it. And in doing so, we emerge stronger, wiser, more resilient. So if you're going through a breakup right now, remember, you're not alone. You're part of a vast global community of heartbroken souls, all of us learning, growing, healing together. And that in itself is a kind of solace. Let me take you on a journey, a journey of my own heartbreak. It was a love story that bloomed in the spring of my youth, a tale of two hearts intertwined. But as the seasons changed, so did the feelings that once were. The breakup hit me like a wave, a torrent of desolation that left me stranded on the shores of solitude. I was lost, drowning in a sea of pain and confusion. My heart shattered into a thousand pieces. Each day felt like I was waging a relentless battle against despair. I'd wake up with a heavy heart, the ghost of our love haunting my every moment. I'd put on a smile, masking my pain with a facade of normalcy, but inside I was crumbling, the echoes of our laughter and shared dreams reverberating in the hollow spaces of my heart. But this story isn't just about heartbreak. It's about the journey that followed, the path I'd tread to pick up the pieces of my shattered heart. I learned to navigate the stormy seas of grief, each wave teaching me a lesson in resilience. I learned to embrace solitude, finding comfort in my own company, rediscovering the person I was before the love, before the heartbreak. I sought solace in the mundane, the simple pleasures of life that I had overlooked. A walk in the park, a book by the window, the warmth of the morning sun on my face, the joy of creating something with my own hands. I found healing in these moments a soothing balm for my wounded heart. I won't lie to you, it was a struggle. There were days when the pain felt unbearable, when the memories felt too heavy to carry. But with each passing day, I grew stronger. I learned to let go, to forgive, to accept. I learned to love myself, to value my own worth, to realize that I am enough. And so, as I stand here today, I can tell you this, I survived. I weathered the storm, I navigated the tumultuous seas of heartbreak and came out on the other side. As painful as it was, I came out stronger and wiser on the other side. The first step to healing is self-care, a step often overlooked. Our bodies and minds are intrinsically linked and the well-being of one directly impacts the other. It's crucial to remember that in the aftermath of a breakup, taking care of your physical self is not just about maintaining appearances, it's about regaining control finding balance, and fostering a healthy environment for emotional recovery. Now let's talk about physical activity. It's not about running a marathon or lifting heavy weights, but rather about moving your body in ways that feel good to you. It could be as simple as a brisk walk around the neighborhood, a soothing yoga session, or even a dance class. Physical activity releases endorphins, our body's natural mood lifters, and can help clear your mind, reduce anxiety, and improve your sleep. Speaking of sleep, it's another crucial aspect of self-care. After a breakup, you may find yourself battling sleepless nights, but 
Remember, your body and mind need rest to heal. Try to establish a regular sleep schedule, create a calming bedtime routine, and make your sleeping environment as comfortable as possible. Next on the list is healthy eating. It's common to lose your appetite or resort to comfort eating after a breakup. But remember, your body needs proper nourishment to function well. Try to maintain a balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Stay hydrated and limit your intake of caffeine and alcohol, which can worsen feelings of anxiety and depression. Lastly, self-care is also about giving yourself permission to feel, to grieve, and to heal. It's okay to have bad days, it's okay to cry, it's okay to seek help from professionals or loved ones. The journey of healing is not linear, and it's important to be patient with yourself. Remember, self-care isn't selfish, it's necessary. Because at the end of the day, you are your longest commitment, and you deserve to be taken care of, by none other than yourself. Change is inevitable, and resilience is the key to embracing it. Resilience, a term often tossed around in self-help circles, is the capacity to recover swiftly from difficulties. It's a form of toughness. And in this journey of healing from a breakup, building resilience is crucial. It's like your internal armor, protecting you from the harsh blows of reality while also giving you the strength to rise again. Building resilience post-breakup is not about denying the pain or suppressing your feelings. It's about acknowledging the hurt, giving yourself the grace to grieve, and then deciding to move forward. It's about developing a positive mindset even in the face of adversity. When you cultivate a positive mindset, you begin to see setbacks not as failures, but as opportunities for growth. You learn to view your breakup not as an end, but as a new beginning. A chance to rediscover yourself, to redefine your priorities, to build a life that aligns with your values and aspirations. And this is where personal growth comes into play. Use this time to invest in yourself, Explore new interests, pick up a hobby, set new goals, engage in activities that bring you joy, that challenge you, that make you feel alive. As you do this, you'll find that you're not just moving on from your breakup, you're evolving into a stronger, more self-aware individual. But remember, you're not alone in this journey. Seek support from loved ones, reach out to friends, family, or even professional counselors. Sometimes sharing your feelings, your fears, your dreams with someone else can provide a fresh perspective, a sense of comfort, a feeling of being understood. Building resilience is a process. It's a constant tug of war between falling back and moving forward. But as you develop a positive mindset, focus on personal growth and lean on your support system, you'll find yourself becoming more resilient, more capable of embracing change. Resilience isn't built in a day, but each step you take brings you closer to healing. Every experience, good or bad, comes with a lesson. This is a truth we must embrace as we navigate the seas of relationships. In the wake of a breakup, it's not uncommon to feel a sense of loss, a void that seems impossible to fill. But in this abyss, there lies an opportunity, an opportunity to reflect, to learn and to grow. Let's take a moment to look back, reflect on the relationship that was, not with regret or resentment, but with a heart seeking understanding and wisdom. What went wrong? What could have been done better? Were there red flags you chose to ignore? or perhaps patterns that kept repeating. These are questions that can help us identify the lessons hidden within the folds of heartbreak. These lessons are your guiding stars, your compass pointing towards healthier dynamics in future relationships. They help you recognize what you truly need and deserve. They equip you with the wisdom to set boundaries, to communicate effectively, and to nurture a relationship that is balanced and fulfilling. For instance, if you found that you often sacrificed your own needs for the sake of your partner, the lesson here is the importance of self-love and self-respect. Going forward, you can apply this lesson by ensuring that your needs are met and that you are treated with the respect you deserve. Or maybe you've learned that communication was lacking in your past relationship. The lesson, the value of open, honest dialogue. Apply this knowledge in your future relationships. Speak your truth, listen with empathy, and create a safe space for mutual understanding. These lessons are not just applicable to romantic relationships. They can also guide you in fostering healthier dynamics in your friendships, family relationships, and even in your interactions at work. Through this process of reflection and learning, we transform our pain into power, our heartbreak into hope. 
we emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient. So as we close this chapter, let's not forget the invaluable lessons it has taught us. Remember, the end of a relationship isn't a failure, but an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.